Hi friends, I'm Arpita Karwa and in this video lecture, I'm going to talk about some best websites that you can use if you are preparing for UGC Net English. Guys, gone are the days when people used to say that a person needs to read hundreds of books if that person wants to clear uh, any competitive exam. Now, clearing exams have become very easy with the help of Google Baba because, you know, there are so many important things that Google provides you with and Google helps you with. See, I'm not saying that books are not important. Books are indispensable. I've already made a video on must read books and books that will help you if you are preparing for UGC net. But there were so many other people who were asking me that are there any web resources? Are there any websites that we can use in order to clear exams? So I thought of making this video and sharing my experience and uh, my kind of website or my favorite websites that I refer when I was preparing for UGC net. So guys, first of all, let's look at what is the benefit of using internet if you're preparing for UGC net English. The first benefit is that you know it is very less time consuming guys I have seen books having hundreds of pages or at least 20 30 pages are uh, devoted to a uh, important writer or to other things but if you are using internet you might find all the relevant information in an article which is written in less than 500 words so it will save a lot of your time also you know reading all those books and then skipping things or then you know sometimes we want to write down certain important things so you don't have the option to copy okay copy and paste you need to actually write everything down which is time consuming so using internet you will have one important benefit and that is that you can copy and paste the important things and you can make your own notes like I used to always use Evernote and still when I make my notes for the audio online course that I'm offering for UGC net English aspirants I kind of make all my notes on computer okay I have so many other softwares that I use in order to make good notes so that I can easily you know uh, explain those notes in my audio lectures so computer will help you internet will help you to save your time second important thing is that information is really easy to find on internet if you have a book of 400 pages and you want to actually you know go to a particular writer or go to a particular section it will take a lot of your time you need to just keep on you know turning the pages and then you might have to read the entire thing in order to figure out where that particular line was that you were searching for but on the other hand if you are using internet you can bookmark all the important things then you can actually uh, you know hyperlinks se aap bahut jaldi cheeze dhoond sakte ho like if you go to wikipedia you'll have so many hyperlinks you just need to click to that hyperlink and you will be able to understand the meaning then there are so many other softwares which can actually help you to know the meaning of a particular word like when you're reading English literature you will come across at least one new word in every paragraph that you are not familiar with so with internet you just need to click and you need to see the meaning with uh, books you have this thing that you need to actually go to internet or you need to go to your mobile phone and then type that word in the dictionary and then that word meaning will come out so that is how internet helps the third important thing is you will get variety of options see when you are reading from one particular book you just have one particular uh, kind of article or one particular kind of answer that is written there and you might or might not understand what is written in the book or you might have certain confusions when you read the summary of a novel or a poem which is given in that book but on internet you can refer to so many places and you can read summary multiple times from multiple sources that will help you to retain better and also help you to understand better because sometimes you're not able to understand one particular language problem faced by me when I was studying David Deitchis did not make sense to me okay it was a kind of alien book to me I thought I was reading some German or French uh, text but then on the other hand Routledge I preferred I preferred uh, William J Long I preferred other books then uh, you know David Deitchis but then when it comes to theory and criticism I was not able to understand anything from the books okay books made sense once I understood the concept from internet and then when I read all the important things that were written in the book I was able to understand so for understanding internet helps you a lot because internet mein jin bhi logo ne likha hai they are like you and me okay they are writing in a very conversational language wherein books jo likhe gaye hai wo bohat achche scholars se ya bohat hi well read logo ne likhe hai so somewhere down the line they have kind of made things complicated but then they cannot help because they have read so much 
that they are trying to you know tell you all the things in the most simplest manner but still they kind of complicated because of the kind of knowledge that they have they assume that we already know certain things like when you are reading david deities you might come across certain historic milestones jinhe unhone explain nahi kiya hai because david deity somewhere thought that a literature students must be aware of that thing but from our point of view sometimes we don't know about those things so that becomes difficult so that is why internet is very important also at the same time in this video i'm going to share my favorite websites that i used when i was preparing for ugc net and one thing i would like to tell you i did not use one particular website because no not a single website is self sufficient in itself you need to go to at least four or five websites in order to understand about a particular writer and to actually know all the important things all the important relevant information about that writer some website will give you something other website will give you other things also i kind of use some other websites which i was not aware of while i was preparing for my ugc net but then when i started with my audio online course i had to read more in order to deliver the best content to students so i refer to some other websites so you can just go through this entire video and keep on noting down the websites i'm mentioning and then start your preparation accordingly so the first important website is wikipedia wikipedia is important because of three reasons number 1 uh it provides you with almost all important information for example all the references adaptations of that particular work then critical comments given to that particular writer all important stuff is there in that wikipedia page of that writer or that work the second important thing about wikipedia is that wikipedia is there for almost every writer in every work like i hardly came across any important writer or any important work jiska wikipedia page nahi hai so it will actually help you with searching content because aur kahin kuch mile na mile you will at least get some stuff on wikipedia the third important benefit of wikipedia is that they are very good with hyperlinks they'll have hyperlinks so you don't need to go anywhere else you can just click on that hyperlink and you will be uh, directed to the page on which that information is displayed one other important thing about wikipedia is they are very good at providing chronological order of works like after uh the biographical information and critical comments and everything they will have a list of all the works of a particular author written in a chronological order so if you want to remember all the works in the chronological order then wikipedia is a page to go now wikipedia has some negative points also number one sometimes we find that summaries are not very good on wikipedia like they complicate summaries I don't know why but then they have this thing that if you're reading a summary from Wikipedia there were times when I was not able to understand the summary at all like it it used to sound so irrelevant that I was not able to understand even a single word but then there are times when summaries are very nicely written so I'm talking about the cases when summaries are not useful on wikipedia also another important uh, you know negative point of wikipedia is that they are too lengthy like if you look at the wikipedia page of great writers like william wordsworth and shakespeare you will be like overwhelmed to see the kind of information they have like they have written everything and it is too huge so you know we kind of get a get fed up and also we are able to segregate important information to the unimportant information so we are not able to segregate that what we need to focus and what we need to leave now let's come on to the second important website that is britannica's encyclopedia now britannica's encyclopedia can be used as a supplement to wikipedia because the best thing about this website is that they sometimes provide certain important things that wikipedia misses so you will get that extra edge when you're reading britannica also very important thing is that they are very short and sweet like they'll give you all the relevant information in just a you know limited number of words so it is not at all time consuming and it saves a lot of your time also one negative point of britannica is that they are bad with summaries as well because uh, britannica may most of the time you will not find summaries and even if you find it the same case that we just saw in the case of wikipedia the same case happens because 
कहीं ना कहीं वो समरी समझ में नहीं आती सो दैट इज द नेगेटिव पॉइंट आई विल कीप ऑन टेलिंग यू द पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी वेबसाइट सो यू नो वेयर एंड विच वेबसाइट टू लोकेट इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑल्सो आई वुड रिकमेंड दैट वॉट आई यूज टू डू इज दैट आई यूज टू ओपन ऑल दीज वेबसाइट ऑन डिफरेंट टैब्स इन द सेम ब्राउजर एंड आई यूज टू रीड सेम राइटर फ्रॉम ऑल दीज वेबसाइट्स बिकॉज आफ्टर यू रीड अबाउट सेवन एट वेबसाइट्स एंड कंटेंट फ्रॉम सेवन एट वेबसाइट्स अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर राइटर यू आर वेरी थ्रू विद दैट राइटर लाइक यू हैव ऑल द पॉइंट्स ऑन योर टिप्स बट एट द सेम टाइम इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू कीप ऑन मेकिंग नो notes of all the important points that are listed on different websites because students make this mistake they'll read the writer from different website they'll read the works from different website but then they'll not make notes and if you don't make notes the information will vanish and you will not even know where it has gone okay if you've learned about bermuda triangle i sometimes feel as if when we don't make notes the information goes into the bermuda triangle and we are not able to find it ever okay so it's important that you should know how to make notes i've already made a video on how to make notes you can refer to that video and look at certain important things that i've mentioned there the third important chunk of website that i would like to mention is cliff notes park notes and great saver i am categorizing them all in the same category because all of them almost function similarly they all are written by literary scholars and students who are studying in some great universities so they are very up to the mark okay and they are written from the point of view of literature so they will provide you with information that is relevant from the point of view of literature also at the same time one very important benefit is that they have quizzes like all three of them will have quizzes after the end of each uh work and that quiz will help you to test how much you were able to retain at the same time they are very good at providing themes symbols motives characters and they even provide act by act scene by scene or chapter by chapter summaries so that is important about cliff notes park notes and great saver only the one drawback i found in these websites that uh, there are certain text jinke uh, अच्छे पेजेस इसमें नहीं है लाइक देर आर सर्टेन टेक्स्ट जिनका स्पार्क नोट्स पे मटेरियल अवेलेबल नहीं है या इनकम्प्लीट मटेरियल है ऑल्सो वन अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट समटाइम्स यू हैव टू रीड द सेम समरी फ्रॉम ऑल द थ्री साइड्स बिकॉज इफ यू आर रीडिंग द ओवरव्यू समरी यू माइट नॉट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट फ्रॉम वन सोर्स दैट वॉज द प्रॉब्लम फेस बाई मी आई डोंट नो वेदर अदर्स फेस इट एज वेल बट देन आई यूज टू हैव दिस थिंग दैट समटाइम्स इफ आई एम रीडिंग अ सेम समरी फ्रॉम वन प्लेस आई वॉज नॉट able to understand it thoroughly so i need to read it from two three places more now i come to my favorite website that is study.com like i will try to make it as simple as i can they are the masters like they are simply fabulous i subscribe to their premium course which was about 5000 rupees per month because i was struggling with literature a lot when i was preparing for net there were terms which i was not familiar with i was pathetic at history like the part tudor dynasty and russian revolution and world war i did not knew all these terms before so i found that study.com ka sabse bada khasiyat ye hai कि दे सिंप्लीफाई द कॉन्सेप्ट इन सच अ सच अ सिंपल मैनर लाइक दे दे मेक इट सो इजी फॉर द स्टूडेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड द मॉड्यूल स्ट्रक्चर थ्रू व्हिच आई prepare my students for the UGC net exam the audio online course that is available on my website it has been inspired from study.com because if you go to study.com they have this beautiful systematic way in which they teach each and every course like i did 5 6 courses there i did the world literature i did world uh, american literature i did the world history course i did uh, british literature course and i also did this literary theory and criticism course i did the uh, rhetorics and prosody course and there were so many minute courses like i wanted to know about christianity how did it emerge i wanted to know about how uh, this greek civilization and greek gods and all these things function okay i was able to understand each and everything from study.com i will make it as simple the only drawback is that it's very expensive because you know uh, they have made it a uh, you know a very large platform to provide courses so they are expensive it's like about 5000 per month 
but at the same time the benefit is that you will be able to understand each and everything but beware of this thing it will only clear your concepts you might not get any information which is relevant from net point of view they are not preparing you for net so they would not give you information about net but they will conceptually clear all your doubts so that when you read the summary or work from other places you are able to catch it in just a minute so in my audio course also i have taken a lot of material from study.com because they have made it so clear and i try to explain uh, all the things that have been listed in study.com also there are several other websites just like study.com uh, we have edx we have yale university but from my side i would recommend study.com so the next uh, site that i would like you to remember is shmoop and there is also a video uh, channel which is run on youtube called thug notes okay so you can refer to both these things thug notes and shmoop they all run on the same uh, platform and they kind of provide similar content so both of them use slang language and swear words and uh, you know some really funny allusions and really funny references in order to uh, make you understand things effective point about both these things are that they help you to develop interest like i used to uh, hate literary criticism and theory but it was after reading literary theory and criticism from shoop that i you know started loving it and it is only after learning learning something from shmoop i you know took time to actually understand each and every concept that was listed in the literary theory and criticism uh, module you can refer to my video on literary theory in which i have tried to explain and give you a crash course in literary theory it's available on my youtube channel so the best part about shmoop is that it will help you to develop interest in whatever you are reading sometimes we feel really you know not feeling like learning at that time shmoop will help you because somewhere you know it it reads like a conversation and it feels as if somebody is actually saying that to you so it's so easy to read that you feel like reading it and you feel happy when they crack some humorous jokes and sort of that thing the negative aspect about shmoop is that it is not at all an authentic site it will give you information which is not at all relevant uh, and it will not help you to clear net i'm telling you it will only help you to actually understand the concepts or it will help you to develop interest the next website that i would like to refer is book rags now the benefit of book rags is that they have super simple summaries they have summarized things in a very very nice manner and their study lessons are extremely wonderful uh, the only drawback is you need to pay for each lesson okay they don't have a membership of monthly or yearly membership but you need to pay for each lesson which is a bit costly i subscribe to like almost all their lessons because when i was preparing i was preparing with this mindset that i would be teaching all these things to students so i wanted to get into the depth and i wanted the best content uh, so that i can read them i can understand it and then i can deliver that to students so i subscribe to almost all the lessons on book rags and i share that in my online course also when i'm explaining you things and you already have a book rags subscription you might find that i'm quoting some lines from book rags because it actually explains things so clearly another important uh, website that i would like you to sign up is e notes e notes and lit charts i would categorize both of them under the same category because e notes and lit charts i subscribe to both of them but i used to refer to these two websites only at certain occasions okay there were only certain areas where i used to find their content extremely wonderful and i used to see that their content actually outshines all the other website but that was only at few places and at few literary milestones so if you wish you can subscribe to um, lit charts as well as to e notes they are wonderful when it comes to literature and they give you such clear and proper answers that you know you're able to find out you you shout like eureka okay i understood what they are trying to say so that's it other than that there were so many other places uh, from which i took um, help like there were so many youtube channel like random youtube channels from which i uh, like there are certain foreign students who review a certain book so i used to read their book reviews in order to understand more about that book then there are certain channels on philosophy and on sociology and psychology from that i used to understand about the Uh, theoretical uh, gurus all those literary theory 
people i used to refer to those youtube channels for them also at the same time i refer to some other websites like in order to understand quotes and in order to make a list of all the important quotes i used to refer to the site called brainy quotes so it will also help you all the sites that i have mentioned will provide you authentic information and you don't need to recheck it from anywhere else they give you authentic information i am not sure about smoop because it has been written in a very vague manner but other than smoop every other website that i have referred will give you proper and authentic information so that's it about this video lecture we'll be meeting in our next video very soon till the time stay tuned to my channel also if you haven't subscribed then do subscribe to my channel because i post videos every saturday and every sunday to help net aspirants to clear their ugc net exam you can follow me on all the social media platform because i'm running this go net quiz which will definitely be helpful if you are preparing for net exam at the same time don't forget to comment below if you want me to make videos on anything else do share your views about how you like this video and share it with other net aspirants as well if you have not gone and visited my website do go to arpitakarva.com you'll find a list of all the important writers that you must study if you are preparing for net exam under the heading online course content you will find all the links of all the social media platform and my website in the description box below so till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to this channel